Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday the 8th of April. Politics intensifies as BJP slams Congress manifesto. Pakistanis dismayed by soaring prices ahead of Eid. And Bangladesh opposition demands unconditional release of leaders. And now for all the details. Slamming India's main opposition Congress Party's manifesto, the ruling BJP national president, J.P. Nadda, on Monday said it is not clear whether it is the manifesto of the Congress or the Muslim League. Earlier last week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also slammed the grand old party over its manifesto, saying it reflects the ideology of the Muslim League. Nadda said that the people of the country have time and again rejected the Congress, but still they are not refraining from their appeasement politics. जो जिन्ना 1929 में मुस्लिम लीग में कहा करता था वही बात अभी 2024 में कांग्रेस पार्टी ने उन्हीं बातों को अपनाया है यानी मुस्लिम लीग का और कांग्रेस पार्टी का मैनिफेस्टो में कोई अंतर नहीं बताइए ऐसे लोगों को सरकार में आने देना है क्या in response, the Congress party approached the Election Commission of India over the remarks, saying the BJP is diverting the main issues and has started speaking about Hindu-Muslim script. Congress President Malikarjun Kharge said it was instead BJP's political and ideological ancestors that supported the British and Muslim League. Congress, which had ruled India for more than 50 years with centre-left policies, has struggled in the past decade to compete with BJP that counts the country's Hindu majority as its main vote base. The seven-phase election starts on April 19 with vote counting on 4th of June. Reacting to remarks by India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on entering Pakistan to kill anyone who escapes over its border after trying to carry out militant attacks, Islamabad has described Singh's statement as provocative. Pakistan's Defence Minister Khwaja Asif warned India of dire consequences and cautioned against misadventures. The remarks came after the debate has been triggered over a report by The Guardian claiming that India ordered killings in Pakistan. Rajnath Singh had said that if someone tries to instigate the country, India will give a befitting reply. Relations between India and Pakistan have worsened since a 2019 suicide bombing of an Indian military convoy in Kashmir was traced to Pakistan-based militants. The incident prompted New Delhi to carry out an air strike on what it said was a militant base in Pakistan. Pakistan had said earlier this year that it had credible evidence linking Indian agents to the killing of two of its citizens on its soil. India has termed it was false and malicious propaganda. Meanwhile, people across Pakistan are dismayed by soaring prices of all commodities ahead of Eid. Pakistan has been reeling under massive economic woes, with inflation hitting a peak of 38%, a report. Ahead of Eid al-Fitr this week, shopping malls and traditional markets across Pakistan are bustling with customers. But both shoppers and vendors say that inflation is dampening enthusiasm for purchases. The last week of holy month of Ramadan normally sees a shopping frenzy with families thronging to markets in search of new clothes, jewellery and shoes that are usually considered Eid essentials for the three days of the festival in Pakistan. However, prices of goods appear to have doubled since around the same time last year. दारी में तो इस टाइम पे यानी बहुत समझ लें एक्सट्रीम लेवल पे मुश्किलात पेश आ रही हैं क्योंकि जो चीज समझ लें पहले हम 300 रुपए की ले रहे थे वो इस टाइम पे 800 900 रुपए तक पहुंच गई है यानी आपकी जो सकत है उससे बहुत बाहर डबल से भी ट्रिपल रेट हो गए चीजों के 
अब ये आप थैला देख रहे हैं ये ये इतना सा थैला है ये आप बिलीव करेंगे ये पंद्रह हज़ार से ऊपर का है ये इतना सा थैला है ये बच्चों के कपड़े हैं खाली तो ये महंगाई का हाल है इस टाइम और अभी भी ये कम्प्लीट नहीं है ये हाल हो गया Pakistan has faced significant inflation challenges hitting a peak of 38% last May partly influenced by tax measures to meet IMF requirements the woes are set to rise with budget revision expected soon that will include more taxes and hike in electricity and gas prices abhi to kapde vagaira khareedein lekin mehangai bahut hai bade zyada mehange mile kam karwa rahe the lekin thode se kam kiye unhone Eid al-Fitr which marks the end of Ramadan is expected to fall on April 10th in Pakistan this year though it may be delayed by a day due to the visibility of the moon The main opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party has demanded the unconditional release of its party cadres and activists from judicial custody before Eid al-Fitr news agency UNB has reported BNP's Joint Secretary General Ruhul Kabir Rizvi addressing a press conference on Saturday said the people of Bangladesh are suffering due to oppression by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's government. He said the ruling Awami League has grabbed power by fouling the electoral process and alleged the party's terror has exceeded all limits. By burying the principles of democracy, Awami League has made the country a totalitarian state. In this situation the feeling of joy for Eid has disappeared from people's mind Rizvi was quoted as saying by UNB The opposition party has been at loggerheads with Sheikh Hasina's Awami League and was accused of pre-poll violence It boycotted the election in January which gave Hasina a fourth term calling it a sham Amid diplomatic tension between Mali and New Delhi, Maldivian Foreign Minister Musa Zamir expressed gratitude to India after it allowed limited exports of essential commodities including tons of sugar, wheat, rice and onions to the island nation. In a post on X, Zamir tagged India's Foreign Minister S J Shankar and thanked the Indian government for enabling the import of commodities. Responding to his post, Jay Shankar said India's action was linked to its neighborhood first and sagar policies. India has also allowed exports of 1 million tons each of stone aggregate and river sand. Shipments of these commodities in the financial year 2024-25 to Maldives will be exempted from any existing or future restriction on export, the government said in a notification. This comes at a time when Maldives which traditionally had close ties with India is pivoting towards China since its new president Mohammad Muizu was elected in October on a promise to end the country's pro India stance Moving on artists from Asian subcontinent converged at Nepal's Lalitpur town over the weekend to participate in the international tattoo convention Hundreds of tattoo artists ink their creativity on visitors and tourists and showcase different designs inspired by aesthetic elements. The artists said they like to ink designs of gods and goddesses and fuse them with modern patterns as they are high in demand. The 3-day convention also involved a competition for artists who inked different designs involving ornamental, tribal and dot tattoos on assigned parts of bodies. मानेहर अब कोई अब जापानी स्लिपर हाँ धेरे होने कोई अब यो ट्रेडिशनल टाइप को है अब भगवान को टाइप को हाँ प्राय जस हम स्टूडियो में यूज स्टार्टिंग हो मैं है हम अब तस्त भगवान को मिक्सिंग कर हाँने टाइप को अलग बेसी नहीं आने हूँ Hundreds of Hindu devotees in India thronged the temple town of Prayagraj on Monday to take a dip in the sacred Ganga River on the auspicious occasion of Somvati Amavasya or a no moon Monday. According to the Hindu epic of Mahabharat, Bhishma the son of river Ganga narrated the significance of Somvati Amavasya to Yudhishthir the eldest of the five Pandav brothers. Bhishma said that whoever takes a bath in the sacred rivers on this day would be prosperous, disease-free, and free from grief and sorrow. ये सब लोग समाप्ति या मासा का जो पर्व है अस्नान करने अस्नान करने मात्र से ही हमारे पितर हमारे ध्यान करते उनका मुक्त हो जाता है और हमारे जो आने वाली पीढ़ी है उनका भी कल्याण होता है. 
the most significant ritual of Somvati Amavasya is the worship of people tree. As per the tradition, married women tie a holy thread and take rounds around the people tree on this occasion. They also observe a fast for the long life and well-being of their husbands. आज सोमवती अमावस्या है तो सुहागिन औरतें यहाँ पे एक स्वाट फेरी लगाती हैं माता पार्वती और वासुदेव भगवान की यहाँ पे पीपल के वृक्ष की फेरी दी जाती है सुहागन स्त्रियाँ यहाँ पे फेरी देती हैं चला ताकि उनका अखंड सुहाग बना रहे Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.